Hello there, play the gamers, it is Charlie, and welcome back to Central. Now, like this video immediately because I found something rather special in the Who's Who Park, really. Um, so, there's some special stuff around it, and when you actually go down with it, which I'll be getting into in a bit. Um, however, if you don't know what Who's Who is, it's a new perk in Dire Eyes which allows you to revive yourself in um, a second form of your former self, if you know what I mean. So, once you go down, you can spawn back as a second character and revive your other character that was downed and then go into that character and get all your shit back. A bit like Tombstone but you get to act as a second person. Um, so Who's Who is actually a pretty cool perk but we're going to look into it like, in further detail. So if we look at the machine itself it's got like one of those rubber rings you'd find on a boat. Um, a boat that you'd just save the ocean with obviously that's what boats do um, but this ring I know you all know this ring I think it has a specific name but I've completely forgotten it but it's used to thrown out um, it's basically thrown out into sea and whoever's sort of drowning or needs to jump back into the boat grabs hold of this and they'll go back in um, a lot of lifeguards actually carry it around as well for when they need to jump out into the ocean and um, try and save a drowning person or something like that they'd always carry that ring with them so that's actually tied round the machine, which is really odd, because why would they do that? Um, second thing about this is that it's actually got the green light. It's returned from transit and Call of the Dead yet again. So the green light is still following us, like I mentioned in a previous video of mine uh, that went up on my channel, and I think went up on Central as well. Um, so the green lights are still following us, and it does tie in with some of the mythological side of the story, um, except uh, previously it had the ability to teleport people, but now it has the ability to to, to resurrect people. It's really odd how this green light works, but I'm sure it will also make a further return soon in the next map. Um, also, there's also like a little man as well. Um, he looks really odd. And back in the studio when we when we were all sort of recording our stuff, we always nicknamed this perk the Spirit Perk or something like that, or the Angel Perk, because we'd always imagine ourselves um, as the second character, but as its sort of spirit or soul. Um, come out of the body and going back to the body and reviving it. Um, sounds silly, I know, but that's what the little man looks like he indicates at the top of the machine, so that's a pretty cool feature they added to the uh, machine itself. But let's talk about what actually happens when you go down. Now, I already um, explained just now that when you go down, you get to come back as your spirit self and revive yourself and get your perks, your guns, and equipment back. However, when you actually spawn as your spirit self, you'll notice something strange happens on your screen. Who's who? That's what I want to know. Especially that crazy German voice. So, I don't know if you saw that, but it's a bit odd, don't you think? Because we had bubbles appear on the screen. Bubbles, and uh, throughout the time we are, as the spirit, we we sort of gain this texture on our screen. Uh, this watery texture, where it looks as if we're, we've just been splashed in the face and this water's dripping away. And it's really odd, and yet again, it's tying in with all the sort of water theme stuff that I mentioned a while back. Um, so if this doesn't indicate a water map, I don't know what does. In every single map, Treyarch always leaves little hints towards their next map. For example, in Ascension, they had Moon written on a little piece of note in Illuminati. They had a rocket off to the moon. It's, it's, it's kind of you know, obvious now that they are leaving these hints behind for us subscribers, for us viewers and gamers to um, guess the next map on, and I guess this map well, well, well before Black Ops 2 came out, back before Moon came out, I think, I sort of guessed Atlantis along with a teammate of mine who helped me out, um, and we both together guessed the Atlantis map. And we were told to keep the idea to ourselves, which we did, but it was only until recently we um, decided to sort of bring out the Atlantis idea and the whole water theme map, and it seems like it's extremely possible now. Um, I've been saying it all along, a water map will emerge from the depths of Treyarch, 
and it's only a matter of time. So thank you for watching, make sure to like the video, like I said, for this awesome discovery. Um, and it, you, may, you might look at it and be like, oh, it's not that much, but it really does um, stand out and show that we may actually be receiving a water map, so it's brilliant stuff. And one other thing before I go is that I'm actually on Twitter now, and as Play The Game Social Outlet Manager, I'd really appreciate it if all of you could try and follow me, because I want to try and keep in contact with my subscribers and try and interact with them some more as well. Um, so it would be my personal Twitter, um, and, uh, and in the description will also be Play The Game's Twitter if you ever want to uh, log into Twitter and, you know, just tweet us some stuff. And if you find anything interesting, make sure to get in contact with me. I'm always on Twitter, Facebook, Skype. Um, those are the three easiest ways you can get a hold of me. But Twitter's a definite because I'd I'd really like it if you could all tweet me some stuff. Um, and that would be awesome. So that will all be in the description below, maybe on an annotation as well. But for now, it has been Charlie. Thank you for watching the video. 